Hi guys, Tiffany here from Lake Life State of Mind and welcome to another edition of Thirsty Thursday. Today's cocktail is another two ingredient cocktail and it is my twist on a traditional vodka soda. Vodka sodas are extremely popular during the summer because they are one of the lowest calorie cocktails you can make. Vodka is the alcohol, if you didn't know, that has the least amount of calories in it. It's got about 100 calories per a shot and a half, and or excuse me, one shot, which is about one and a half ounces. And club soda has no calories at all. So people will, a traditional vodka soda is just club soda with a little bit of vodka and then you squeeze in some lime juice. Super refreshing, super easy, perfect summer cocktail that's not gonna pack on a lot of calories. I, for one, like things a little bit more fruity, a little bit more flavor. I'm definitely not gonna order a vodka soda. It's a little bit too bland for me. It does help a little bit with that lime in it, but with all of the different flavored waters that are available right now and all of the flavored vodkas, there's no reason why you can't enjoy a vodka soda and not make it flavorful without having to really add calories at all. For starters, flavored water like Bubbly, which happens to be my particular favorite brand, they have no sweeteners, no calories in them, so you can add those in there to give you a fruity little twist to your drink. As far as the vodkas are concerned, I don't know when the last time has been since you've gone into any liquor store, but you will be amazed at the different varieties of vodkas that they have available for you. I have a few out here right now. To be honest with you, these are vodkas that I literally just had sitting in our bar, and there are more too. I have a passion fruit down there, I had a citrus down there, I had an orange down there, but I came, um, just put a few of them up here so that I could talk about some combinations for you. In the blog post that I'm writing about this, I came up with eight delicious combinations for you guys to use, but really, it's endless. You can do whatever you want, whatever vodka flavor you want, whatever bubbly or LaCroix, whatever sparkling soda brand you like, feel free, excuse me, and to mix them together, add a little bit of fruit garnish, and that's all that you need to do. So, so easy. I am gonna share a couple of the combinations with you right now because I pulled them out, but I'm only gonna be making one variety today. So pineapple vodka, yes, you heard me right. Pineapple vodka with a mango bubbly is my first combination. Add a little bit of pineapple slice to it and you're good to go. This one sounds so tropical. Yes, 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 like I'm gonna be trying that probably this weekend. Second one that I have for you, if you remember a few weeks back, we made a strawberry vodka lemonade. So I had strawberry vodka. What about using that with the strawberry bubbly? So strawberry and strawberry, and what do you think I'm gonna garnish it with? Strawberries. Next one, this is cake vodka. If you have not tried cake vodka, amazing. We use this a lot in all different types of cocktails. We're mixing this, or I'm thinking that we could mix this with a blackberry bubbly. So like a blackberry cake idea, I don't know, it sounds good and refreshing for the summer. And yes, you would garnish with some blackberries. The one that we're going to talk about today or that I'm gonna show you today is actually a new flavor of bubbly that I just found in the store this Memorial Day weekend. I've never seen it before. It is a blueberry pomegranate flavor. And I'm gonna go on the record right now and tell you as of now, that is my favorite bubbly flavor, which is really hard because I like a lot of them, but something about that flavor combination is amazing. So I am mixing that with some vanilla vodka. I think that the vanilla vodka would also be really, really good in like a black cherry or cherry bubbly with some cherries to garnish. We're still gonna use cherries to garnish today, but I just think that cherry vanilla would be good. I just didn't have any cherry bubbly here today, so that's why I didn't do that combination. I do, however, here have traditional vodka, and obviously this traditional vodka, if you didn't have any flavor vodkas at home, would easily go into any of these bubblies. So all you need to worry about are the measurements, how much of each you need, and then you can make any combination that you want. 
So with that in mind, we're gonna get started with the cocktail of the day. This one, again, I'm gonna be using my vanilla vodka variety with a blueberry pomegranate bubbly. And I'm telling you, seriously, it is delicious. If you're on this flavored water train like I am, I'm obsessed right now. I'm not gonna lie. I've been obsessed with two things so far during this quarantine bubbly or sparkling flavored water and cocktails. So pretty much I'm combining my two obsessions from these last couple months into one cocktail right now. Last week we did bubbly with a little bit of wine. I love wine too, but it can pack on some calories, especially those sweet wines. So if you use a vodka, you're gonna be getting less calories and still being able to enjoy a cocktail. So, so easy guys. These two ingredients, I've got a cup here with some crushed ice inside of it. It is going to be two ounces of whatever vodka flavor you're gonna choose. Two ounces, four tablespoons, or a quarter cup. Four tablespoons is also a quarter cup. Didn't know if you know that or not. But you guys know I have my little pour here that does one ounces. So I'm gonna do two of these to go inside of my crushed ice. So I've got one of the vanilla and two of the vanilla and one cup of your sparkling soda, whatever flavor you're gonna choose. So again, we're going with this blueberry pomegranate. I actually have one open, so I'm gonna finish what's in here, but I will still have to open another one. So I'm gonna pour this in here again. I like to do it just because I'm like a math person. I like all the numbers to be a certain way, but honestly, if you just wanna pour this uh, soda water on the top till it gets to the top, that is absolutely fine too. You don't need to worry about it. So here we go. I love those bubbles, nice and refreshing. Putting that right into my cup here. Right to the top. Perfect, huh? Give that a little bit of a stir. If you don't give it a stir, you've got all that vodka sitting there on the bottom, all of the soda kind of at the top. If you use a straw, you're probably just gonna get a whole mouthful of vodka, which if you like that, good for you. I really don't, so I like to stir it up together. So I'm gonna stir, give it a little whoosh. All right, get those flavors together. And all that's left to do is garnish. I'm gonna put some cherries. I made this little cute concoction because there's no summer cocktail that's complete without a little umbrella, right? Since we can't go on vacation, we're gonna pretend like we're on vacation with this little umbrella instead. So the cherries are perfect. I got them at Publix this weekend as well when I got that bubbly. So I put a couple of them on my toothpick part of my umbrella. I'm gonna stick it in the side here and Hope it stays, which it looks like it does. And there you go. This is literally a vodka soda on steroids with vanilla and also a vanilla vodka and your flavored bubbly or whatever type of flavored soda water that you like to use. I'm gonna give it a sip. Mm. Perfect. The, co the flavor combinations, I can't talk, are amazing in this cocktail create any flavors, any variety that you guys would like. I'd love to hear what you try because I'm always looking for some ideas on flavors, something that I've never thought of before. I hope you all enjoyed today's Thirsty Thursday. Let me know if you've tried any of these Thirsty Thursday recipes. And just so you all know, I have said it before, but I add all of these in written form as well at the blog, lakelifestateofmind.com. Not the blog, my blog, lakelifestateofmind.com. I hope you all have a great weekend and hope you get to enjoy one of these cocktails while you're at it. Have a great day. Bye guys, thank you.